What's going on guys, welcome to an episode of Basketball BDC. Let's go right into this and answer some questions. In the previous video, I had somebody asking me about working with Premiere Pro and After Effects, and I actually have a tutorial on that. So there's gonna be a link in the description where you can check out that tutorial. It's very simple. All you have to do is right click on the video, you can select the After Effects option. It'll send you to After Effects. Once you save your edits over there, it'll automatically update in Premiere Pro because you have a separate After Effects project. The reason why this is so convenient is because the old school way, you have to keep rendering the video out of After Effects, and then you have to update in Premiere Pro. This way, all you have to do is update the project in After Effects and it'll automatically update in Premiere Pro again. So it's a fantastic feature to have. Now, besides all of that, I know another common problem for a lot of people is having the issue of audio and video out of sync. If you ever worked on an audio video project, most people out there working with Premiere Pro, After Effects, have experienced some kind of audio out of syncing with a video. Now, if you're recording video from your camera phone, you know, with a smartphone or even a tablet, or if you're using a DSLR and you import the video and for some reason audio is not syncing with the video and no matter what you do in Premiere Pro, it's just not working. There's another option you have, and I actually got this information from the Adobe website because the people from Adobe and Premiere Pro, they actually recommend an application called Handbrake. It takes the variable frame rate and makes it consistent. So when your audio and video is not matching up like that, try the application. I'll put a link in the description to that. It's a free application, and I made sure that it's a good application before I go install it to my computer. So if you're unsure about it, it's a fantastic application. Now, also besides that, another common question I get is about editing audio. What I actually use? Well, in Premiere Pro, you can edit the audio for your video. There's no problems doing that. Even if you just want to edit an audio file, you can actually do it in Premiere Pro if you choose to. Now, another great application to edit audio is Adobe Audition, and this is focused on audio because you can actually see the video in Audition nowadays, but you want to use that more specifically for audio. And what it allows you to do is actually see the finer details of the audio. An example is having some additional audio artifacts, and what I mean by that is some annoying sound in the background, something similar to that, where you want to edit that out. And by seeing those details in audition you can actually enhance and edit your audio with a professional quality I'm not saying you can't edit your audio in Premiere Pro because I do that a lot I usually don't have any issues with my DSLR audio so I'll just import the video with the audio in Premiere Pro and, and just edit it there but if I need to see the details of the audio audition is gonna be where I'm editing it and also if I want to enhance it like I said before because there's some amazing effects in audition there's some cool effects also in Premiere Pro for audio but as far as audition that's a place you want to go to for doing that and if you want to connect the two projects which is similar to what After Effects of Premiere Pro does. Right click on the audio in Premiere Pro, it'll send you to Audition, edit the audio over there, save it as a separate project, and then it'll update in Premiere Pro. So it's another convenient way to actually work with the two applications. And the reason why we're doing this when I talk about convenience, is just saving time. When you have time savers, when you're working with all these projects and you have a lot of things you're working on, it's a great thing to have and Adobe makes it really fast and simple. So I hope that answered a lot of the questions that you guys have. If you have any more questions, post your comments and also let me know if you're watching this video, you like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.